Hi everybody, my name is Charles Love. I'm the Director of Service Operations here at Big Sur. And today I'm going to show you how we use TS Print in our cloud environment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up uh, one of our cloud icons. We're going to authenticate in. Okay, we're going to hit OK on the notice. So now we're just going to fire up Microsoft Word. Okay, so I'm going to write test123. I'm going to do a file, I'm going to print, and as you can see I have three printers listed here all with the word TS Print. We'll get to those in a minute. We're just going to pick TS Printer. TS Print Printer. We're going to hit print, and now we're going to get a warning. And the reason we're getting this warning is because we haven't installed the TS Print client, which isn't that big of a deal. So we're going to hit OK on this error. We're going to go to Google. And we're simply going to look for TS Print. The company is Terminal Works. So you can see it right here, TS Print. This is something that the, we, we have the end users do. In some cases, we help them if needed. So they come over here. We go to Downloads. So we want the client. The server goes on the server, the client goes on the client. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Download. And we're just going to run it. It's very easy install. You know, we've allowed uh, a lot of our end users just to pretty much do this on their own. There's really no choices. It's, it's mostly a next, 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 next. So we'll let this come up. We're going to say run. Let it verify Windows. Okay, we can see it here. We're just going to hit next. We're going to read through the agreement. We're going to hit I accept. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit install. And it should pretty much be done in 10, 20 seconds. And because it says, hey, you have a cloud session open, no big deal. I'll close my clouds and I'll hit retry. Still have them open. Let's go ahead and. So we'll hit retry now. going to install. It basically installs a little add-on to go uh, inside with the remote desktop client, which is what we use for the cloud. Alright, this is done. We're going to hit next. And we're going to hit finish. I'm going to minimize this. Now we're going to go right back onto the cloud. I'm going to log in. Okay, that same document, we're going to go File, Print. Remember, we're going to pick the TS Print Printer. We're going to hit Print. The first couple times you print, it builds the, the config cache and all that stuff. Consequent times will be nice and fast. So we'll give it a couple seconds here. Okay, so now what's, what's actually happening here is this window, it's actually showing all of your local printers. If you notice here on the cloud, we don't have these printers. If I minimize Windows, These are actually my printers. You can see our color printers, our black and white printers. I have the Lexmarks, the HPs from home. All this stuff is actually from my local machine. Why this is important is if you have machines at home 
and you want to print to them over the cloud, you don't have to worry about installing drivers and all that kind of fun stuff. What's actually happening here is the document is going to be printed outside of the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and say, print this to the black and white, go. This becomes extremely important because when you try to print a big, um, you know, when you try to print a big document, sometimes it can really slow down the cloud. So by using this TS print, we don't have to worry about that. That's pretty much it. So again, if I go file, print, I hit print, the little window will come up and it'll ask me, hey, what printer do you want to print on? And then I'll pick my printer and away I go. The other printer choices there, we have TS print PDF, which will basically just make a PDF, and we have TS print default. What TS print default does, it'll actually pull your local default printer. In my case, it's this one. So if I were to pick TS print default, it would automatically go right to that. So that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to it. I just wanted to kind of show you how this works. It's a great tool. We use it a lot. Customers love it. We love it. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.